Welcome to the Chiefs way. Now mash that subscribe button or drop it, give me 50. Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you how I am going to protect my Predator 2000 generator. And you could also you do the same thing for other small generators that are about the same size as this Predator. But we're going to be doing that by we're using a, this is a 34 by 40 inch bag from Farad. It's made by Faraday Defense. And I got it from the Disaster Prepare website. And uh, I looked at these bags and that's the, they had the best price there at Disaster Preparedness. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is we have to, you know, measure the bag and cut it because it's much larger than the item. So that's why I have it sitting up on this stool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the bag over top of our uh, generator and then we're going to measure it and cut it. Okay, so I got the bag over top of the generator and the, uh, the stool that it's on. And I got it pushed all the way down because see there's the handle right there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to measure it and we're going to put a mark down here where the bottom of our uh, generator is. But before we mark it, what we want to do is if we look up here, see if we can get it in the camera. When I squeeze this handle, we're going to see that uh, the whole bag moves up. So I'm going to squeeze the handle and then mark the spot. So we got that extra space. So if you grab the handle, you can still pick it up and carry it around with the, uh, with our protection on there. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and mark it. Okay. I used a Sharpie marker and you can see right there, I marked the bottom of our uh, generator, but that's not where we're going to cut our bag. Okay. So let me get this, uh, bag off of the generator and I'll explain what our next step is going to be. Okay. We got the bag off the generator. So we don't want the bag just to end, you know, right here at the bottom of the generator. Okay. We want it to go all the way underneath, you know, and protect the bottom while it's sitting there. So what I'm going to do is I got a yardstick here. We're going to measure the width and it looks like we have 10 inches there. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our mark that we put on our bag. And if we look here, here's our mark right there. We're going to measure down 10 inches and that's where we're going to cut our bag off at. Okay. We got our bag marked with a line across it. So this is where we're going to cut. Okay, we got our bag cut to size and we got our generator off the stool here. So first thing I got to do is put the bag over top of the generator. Okay, I got the bag on there and you can see I had to you know, get it all scrunched down, but that's okay because that's all the material <coughs> that is going to go up underneath it. So what we're going to do next, this is kind of like wrapping a Christmas package. When you do the end, you're going to fold the sides in and then, you know, you know, fold the corners in and then the sides down and tape it. But we're not going to tape it. Just sit in this. You do this where you're going to store it. So just a weight sitting on it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt it back and I'm going to push this side all up under there and flatten it out. Then I'm going to tilt it towards me and I'm going to put the other side in and then we'll come back and check it out. Okay, I got the front and the back, you know, tucked in underneath and just like a Christmas package that we're wrapping, we still got the ends. So now I'm going to fold those both under and then we'll be done. Okay, now I see I got the, the bottoms folded up underneath and there's no reason I believe to, you know, tape that or do anything on the bottom because one, it's on the bottom. Two, it's going to be sitting on a hard surface. 
okay? And three, if you know anything about electromagnetic energy, it really doesn't turn corners. It is a line of sight, straight shooting kind of stuff. So if anything came in here, it's not gonna come up and really work its way into the bottom, especially if you're in your basement. Because if it's in the basement, up and next to a, like a basement wall, that one side is gonna be protected. So it would have to work its way through all those folds. Because remember, we gotta fold it all the way over, then all the way back on the bottom, and then the sides all in. So we got lots of folds on the bottom that are gonna protect us. And the weight of, you know, the weight of the product is going to, uh, you know, keep it sealed up underneath. So there we go. We got our, uh, gener our generator, our Predator 2000, or any other small generator about that same size protected. And remember, this was a 34 by 40 Faraday defense bag, and you can find that at uh, disasterprepare.com. Uh, there's not the link will be in the bottom. There's no affiliation. I'm just a small channel. I just bring you the products that I use that I've, you know, put some research in and discovered that these were good products at the best price I could find. And at disasterprepare.com, this was the best price for this size bag. So if you have any questions, just put them down below. And if you like this content, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.